to my channel so I am super super excited to do this video for you guys because I am going to be trying out a new booty challenge which if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys may or may not know that I just recently did a 13 day booty challenge from Natasia Pal I'm gonna put her information here because I have no idea how to pronounce her name but basically in that video she said that she did this certain booty workout for 13 days straight and saw some gains saw some changes saw some things in her boot and I was like you know what there's no way there's no way but I will actually insert a picture for you guys right now this is me doing the challenge the very first day it's actually the second day in the first picture and then the last well, the 14th day. I took the picture after the 13 days was over. But if you guys can tell on the actual picture, I went up like five and a half inches in my booty gains. And I mean, when I measured it, I'll also show you guys this picture where I actually measured it with the tape. And that was showing me, you know, 32 inches around from the booty up and across. So I really did see significant gains. I can even see it in clothes that I'm wearing. You know, I wore this cute little skirt. I was able to um, show it off here. I'm, I'm just going to keep showing it off because my booty looked really good here and I was very happy with it. And at first I was just like, you know what? It's just because the skirt looks really cute. But you guys, it is so true that you can get gains in your booty if you are consistent with it and this is pretty much I did all of that with like very little weight I did do some resistance bands and some ankle weights and I'm let me just be clear and honest with you guys I was also working out during that it's not like I just did this workout I have been going to the gym with stuff so we do incorporate some pretty heavy leg days and even when I'm here I will incorporate weights when I'm trying to do my legs so I don't want to say that it's strictly from doing that 13 day challenge but I did see a significant difference just from doing a challenge for 13 days. So the reason I bring you guys here today is because I actually want to document my journey. I didn't really document that one because it was just me trying it out. But I thought it would be really cool for me to document me doing a challenge with you guys to give you guys realistic results and really show you guys what it all entails. So I wore my new little cute set from Amazon. It is seriously the cutest little set. I love it. It's it's a really good fit too and it's just like snatches the waist, makes the booty look good, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm gonna be giving you guys a full on front, back, side, everything so you guys can actually see what my body is looking like right now. Today is April 7th so this will be day one and I will come back in a week just to show you guys the progress and then I will also show you guys the results for two weeks because I don't even think I told you guys what challenge I was doing. <laughs> I'm going to be doing the Daisy Keach Bubble Butt quarantine challenge or quarantine bubble but whatever it is either way I've seen so many videos on this where girls have done it and I've posted their results even in as little as a week so I'm really excited to try it out because I want to see if it is possible to get a little more gains especially now that I'm kind of less hesitant and less reluctant I'm like okay I can actually see that you can gain some booty in 13 days of consistency so what can we do with a challenge that is supposed to give you gains in two weeks so I'm really excited to try out this challenge guys and I hope that you guys are excited for this as well I think it's gonna be super fun and maybe you guys can see realistic results and it'll motivate you guys to try something out I had so many people asking to try the Natasia one that I posted so if you guys want to see that I will also link that one down below but if you guys want to check out the Daisy Keach one that will be down below as well let's just go ahead and show you guys what the body is looking like so here is my front and center first day April 7th here is my side I'm gonna scoot back a little bit more just so you guys can really see the boot here is the back and here is the right side so like I said guys this is day one I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'm actually gonna change out of this because I'm not wearing this to work out today I'm gonna wear this tomorrow to the gym <laughs> but I wanted to wear something that you could really see the booty in that way you guys could really tell if your girl gets some booty gains or not okay so I am going to start the workout and then the next time you guys see me will be a week from now for our check-in Let's go. Wait, I totally forgot I wanted to do the measurements with you guys because I feel like that's the only way we're really going to know if the booty has grown. So I tried to put it pretty much on my highest 
point, not my highest, but my biggest point of my booty. And so we are sitting at, right now we are sitting at 37 and a half, which is pretty much, I won't even move it guys so you guys can actually see. 37 and a half, which is what I pretty much had when I ended the other challenge. So just so you guys can see, once again, going to that biggest part of the booty, holding it as tight as I can, and yeah, 37 and a half. So that is what we're starting with. Let's see if we get anything in the next two weeks. Okay guys, I am seriously dying. I just finished up 35 minutes of a workout, but now we still have to do Daisy Quiche. So let's get her going. Today is April 13th. It is day seven of my 14 day challenge that I'm going to be doing with Daisy Keach. I decided that I wanted to incorporate a band in this round just because I heard some people say they did it with bands and some people just did it just without the bands. So we're gonna try. Um, here's just a little snippet of what we're looking like, but it's nothing crazy. I'm sure we'll see the real results in about a week. So I'm gonna try this with the band. I'm just gonna show you guys a quick little snip of it because I already showed you guys basically how to do the whole workout. So we're gonna start off with our 15 donkey kicks. a lot more painful with the band but I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up with hello welcome back we are officially done with the Daisy Keach challenge and I was gonna wait it out and just kind of like wait till my stomach was flatter and then show you guys all the results but then I was like you know what we're real on this channel and if we're bloated and we're just not our best we're still gonna show that off because this is real life this is a whole entire fitness journey and I want to share all of that with you guys the good the bad the ugly so I am wearing the same outfit that I wore when I first showed you guys because I just thought it would be better to see a comparison wearing the same exact thing um, I'm also going to remeasure myself and then kind of just give you guys a little uh, gist of what I thought of the Daisy Keach challenge. So first, let's get into the look. So here we are. Um, hopefully you guys can see. I don't have my glasses on. So here is the front. And I'm going to try my best to, oh, you know what? Let me do it without shoes. I'm going to try my best to get all the same. Oh, I think I went this way. <laughs> 
I am bloated guys. Do bear in mind that I just ate lunch. I also already had breakfast. Usually when I do these things, I like to do them on a completely empty stomach, just so I can look nice and flat, you know, but this is real life once again. So here is the boot. I'm gonna bring it down just a bit, because I don't know, just in case. I'll show you guys. Front, side, back, and right side. So let's go get the measuring. Show you guys really quickly. We're gonna do, sorry it's all crooked. We're gonna do the highest point of our boot area. So here's our highest point. And even though I am a little bloated, I'm doing it underneath the tummy bloating. So. That's where I usually try to do it. My tattoo is like right here, so I usually try to do it in line with my tattoo, like slightly under it. But pulling it as tight as we can. Okay, there we are, guys. I actually, I'll show you guys this without moving it. I went up just a little bit. So I started at 37 and a half, and I'm about 38. So I went up about a half inch, nothing crazy. I don't know if we can really see a difference as far as like how it looks. I don't know if I see a huge difference to be quite honest with you guys, but I did feel like I wasn't gonna like really see a huge difference. So I am kind of surprised that we at least grew like a half inch. That's kind of cool. Let me see. Let me just, I like to do it just a couple times just to make sure I'm not tripping. Pull it tight. Yeah, we're sitting at 38. So I mean, it did grow a tiny bit. Pretty much what I've seen from all of this is that it did grow about a half an inch, which is nothing compared to what happened when I did the other challenge. I definitely like the other challenge way more also because I just feel like you're moving your body around so much more. With this one, I feel like you're just really stagnant. Like there's so many moments where you're just laying there doing 30 seconds of something. And although you're moving and it's burning and it feels like something is working, I just feel like being stuck in like one spot doesn't make me feel like I got as good of a workout as, you know, like the other challenge, which, you know, like I said, if you guys want to try it out, I do have it linked down below. That challenge kind of, she has you up and moving. You're doing like Bulgarian split squats. You're doing all kinds of different things, which really gets your body moving, which I think I just like that so much more because I feel like I'm getting a better workout in. I'm sweating more and I feel like I got so much more growth with that one as opposed to this one where I feel like there wasn't a whole lot of growth. But something that I think is really positive of thing that you can take away from this is doing challenges like this where you're kind of forcing yourself to do this. I do want to make quick mention, this was over a span of way more than 14 days because on my 10th day, I actually went out of town to Arizona for my mom's birthday. So 11 and 12, I did not do the booty challenge, but on 13 and 14, I doubled it up, but then I didn't feel like it was good enough. So I just kept doing an extra four days after that. And then I did one yesterday. So it's like, I probably did all in all like 16, 17 days worth of the challenge. So just to kind of put that out there, a little disclaimer for you guys, it wasn't like a consistent because I stopped and then I did it again. But what I was kind of trying to get with all this is something that I really liked and that I think I can take and utilize in the rest of my workout routines or just my journey in general is being able to find something that you can do consistently for a certain period of time. And whether that be a 10 day challenge, a 13 day challenge, a 14 day challenge, you know, 21 day challenge, whatever the case may be, being able to have something that just gets your body moving, even on your rest days, making them active rest days is really going to help your body get used to you know, the workouts, because when I take time off, you guys, I am dying at the gym after I've taken like a weekend off to like drink and eat whatever kind of foods I want within moderation, of course. I just feel like it's so much harder and it kind of takes like, I know it's gonna sound really weird and it's probably a mix of like the fitness journey and a mix of me getting older, but I don't feel like drinking has the same like, excitement as it used to like I used to be really excited to go out and drink with my friends and like have a good time but now I'm like yo like if I drink too much I'm not gonna get to go to the gym tomorrow or I'm not gonna be able to work out or so like it's just like a whole change in my mind it's so crazy to me but that's okay because 
doing something like this, staying consistent for a certain period of time, really keeps you motivated. It keeps you on track. It makes you feel like, whoa, like I have seven more days of this. I need to keep going. I got to keep doing this. You know, I want to see progress. Taking pictures, I've told you guys this time and time again, taking pictures is truly going to be a testament to your progress. And, you know, just really getting yourself up and moving is going to be the best part of it. So if you take anything from these kinds of challenges, just know that doing something consistently Building a habit, building something that like, you know, you're excited to do is going to make all the difference for you guys. And that is something that I like about these challenges. Will I continue to do this challenge? Probably not. I don't care for it. The other one by um, Anastasia or Ana, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I feel so bad butchering it. But that one, I will definitely probably implement that exact workout into my booty days when I'm doing, you know, gym stuff. But yeah, all in all, I just wanted to show it to you guys because I know that this is a super talked about challenge here on YouTube. So many people have done it. So many people have posted their results. And I feel like sometimes, sometimes things aren't always realistic. And I'm like, there's no way. There's no way. There's ones where people are like, yo, like, it just lifted my booty a little bit or I only grew an inch or something and I get that and I'm like cool I respect it there's ones where they try to show you them like squeezing their butt cheeks in and then pushing it out for the picture and I'm like don't lie to us you know what I mean so it's like I don't want to be that person so I wanted to come on here give you guys a full ass realistic results and I hope that you guys enjoyed it if you guys want me to try any other challenges please let me know down below I'm always excited to try something new I'm thinking about doing this two-week Chloe Ting challenge not like her actual routine but I found this girl's video where she kind of does a compare and contrast of just her standing ab videos it's only standing ab videos and she did it for I think two weeks and she saw a huge difference so I'm like low-key tempted because you girl has to work on the tummy like the arms are getting toned we're getting some tones in the arms we're getting muscles in the legs the booty's growing but the tummy i mean we got some little abs coming in here but the lower belly mm, 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 mm. that's what you guys see up here so anyways that's not the point of this video but i'm just saying like if you guys want me to try out any other challenges, let me know. I'm probably going to try that one out and I'll film it all for you guys because I think this is super fun. And I really think that this is kind of helping me find my niche here on YouTube because I was like, what am I going to do? Like, I'm not a part of the beauty community anymore. Like, what is exciting? And this, filming my journey, talking to you guys about it and really getting you guys involved in every step of the way has been so fulfilling in so many ways. I can't even explain it. Like, Having some of you guys hit me up on Instagram, sending me your guys' scales, telling me when you lose weight, telling me when you're trying out the workouts I'm doing, anything like that, you guys, it genuinely, it hits my heart in ways that I can't even begin to explain. But genuinely, 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 from the bottom of my heart, I want to tell you guys, I am so freaking proud of all of you that have decided to go on your own fitness journey because of everything that I've been promoting, like, you know, me just trying to switch up my life and really kind of like come, I'm getting, I literally told this to Jonathan yesterday, I get emotional when I talk about it because I feel so much passion in my heart for it. Like this is something that I had to do because my health wasn't where it was supposed to be. And I am just sharing it with you guys, just not even thinking that it's gonna mean anything or do anything. But when I have my cousins telling me in person about like, what am I doing? How can they, you know, get those same kind of results? Or I have people like complete strangers on Instagram telling me like, you know, that they don't have a lot of friends to share this stuff with, but they feel comfortable sharing their journey with me and they're showing me their progress pictures or their scales or whatever. Like. It genuinely means so much to me and just knowing that I can come on here and give this to you guys, it brings a whole new life to my purpose here on YouTube and there's a reason why I never gave up, you know what I mean? There's a reason why I haven't like disappeared off the YouTube world and I think this is what it is. Me coming here and sharing this realistic journey with you guys, giving you guys the good, the bad, the ugly, the ups, the downs, everything, I think is what is going to make, you know, like how I do things maybe just differ from the rest of the world out there because I know guys trust me I know sometimes going on YouTube it is intimidating to see people who just look so good and they're like oh yeah I just did this and this and this and this and it's like okay but like you look that good already like that girl <clears throat> with the 13 day challenge she has videos going back five years or four years when she first started with like nothing and I respect that and I love that kind of content because it's like you can genuinely see a realistic growth and progress and 
you know, change and result. And I think that's so dope. And I appreciate all of you guys that are here to follow my journey and be a part of it and share with me. It's amazing. And I, again, like, I thank you guys so much that you continue to come back to my channel and still watch me even when I go on a hiatus and I disappear forever or whatever the case may be. This is something that I feel really deep in my heart there's some kind of passion in there that I just have to share with you guys so I get excited to film these videos I get excited to share with you guys and it's just so dope like it's such a dope feeling and I love it and I just I can't thank you guys enough so thank you again guys I, I'm gonna stop this is getting so long this is a video all on its own but thank you guys so much for everything and I hope that you guys have an amazing day if you guys liked it please give me a huge thumbs up because it means a lot to me and it helps you grow out but I will see you guys in the next video Bye, guys.